My name is Dan Jankowski, and this is some jokes that I wrote that we think are pretty funny. It's about... Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're about the different rules and regulations if you want to be the coolest cat in the grocery checkout line. Alright? Now, the first decision that you have to make as you enter the line is where to aim your eyes. This can be a very delicate decision, especially for the image-conscious men. Now, the magazine rack is pretty much off limits. You don't want to get caught with your eyes lingering on a magazine like People are in style, because that makes you a woman. And you definitely don't want to be seen with looking at like Cosmo Girl or Seventeen, because that makes you a pervert. You could look at the gum that they always have right there. You could even buy some gum. But if you buy gum, you have to share it with everybody. Gum is the one thing in our society that people assume has no monetary value. And these jerks have no qualms about asking, day after day, for something that you spent your hard-earned money on. So you want to know what I do to people who ask me for gum? I give them Nicorette. And then, like the fifth or sixth time that I come around and they're like, Dude, I'm jonesing for some of that great gum that you got. I'm like, dude, I don't have any gum. Would you like a cancer stick? Now, can't look at the gum. Too many angry feelings over there. So I guess the best place to look is the empty space just to the right of the person in front of you's head. In this way, you avoid staring at the cashier and making them feel uncomfortable. You also avoid having to wonder whether the white stuff on the person in front of you's head is lice or really active dandruff. <laughs> now, as soon as you have your eyes firmly planted, you must immediately take all of your groceries and put them on the conveyor belt. But before that, you must always remember to place the black divider bar. Because if you don't place the black divider bar, and even if there's like a foot of space in between your, and your items and the previous customers, the cashier still has to ask, is this a separate order? And then you have to go through the whole process of explaining to them that you just forgot the black bar. And you hold up the whole line for everyone, it's a huge hassle. So just put the bar down and save everyone the trouble. Alright, as soon as you have all your groceries on the conveyor belt and the bar down, immediately take out your wallet, credit card, checkbook, whatever you plan on paying for your groceries with. You do not wait until you are all the way at the front of the line to start, like, oh gosh, I have to pay for this and rum it's your pockets, whatever you carry your money in. The people behind you in line have the right to a fair and speedy purchase. It's in the Constitution. So be a good American and make sure that you have your money out as you, enter, as you reach the register. Now, lastly, and this is very important, pick plastic over paper. Screw the environment, you don't recycle anyway. <laughs> Not to mention that the plastic bag says thank you on it like six times compared to the paper bag's measly one thank you. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when I'm thanked, I like it to be in multiples of at least six, which is, which is why I do most of my good deeds in an echo chamber. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No problem, problem. <laughs> You've made it to the line. Now, if you can manage to avoid hitting any pedestrians as you go to your vehicle, you're home free. Watch out for potholes. <laughs>